I want to go in the advanced mode and uh, show you over here that uh, the pulses per millimeter setting uh, this would mean uh, that how many pulses is your encoder generating every millimeter for the setting that I have for my demo and for most of the sick demo cameras if you have one of those the encoder uh, that's mounted on there it's generating about 58 to 60 pulses every millimeter so if you put that number down there you should be fine the profile distance on the other hand is how often do you want to acquire profiles or in other words what resolution do you want in the direction of the movement I will start with let's say a quarter millimeter and for my width resolution I always leave it at robust and square pixels what that helps me with is basically if I have a circular object then when I scan it it will look like a circle if I don't have square pixels it will look more of like an oval which might not be for my application reflection handling I usually leave it as normal and lastly image triggering um, I define this to be as far as free running means that as soon as one image is acquired the next image is acquired immediately after that most applications do not want that most applications require that a trigger sensor tells the camera when the object is in front of the camera and that's the time you want to start the image acquisition and I do have a sensor currently configured for my uh, demo frame that I am using finally uh, I have this I, you can see that my uh, plane is quite uh, uh, crooked over here so I can uh, use a user defined reference level uh, and compensate for that so if I move that further down and then we, we will be able to preview in a second what that looks like um, to adjust our object or our image to scale basically so that we don't have any crooked nature or skewed plane in our image I can preview that and reduce my slightly my uh, max profile rate uh, one parameter that I will promise to come back in a second is the number of profiles so because you know that you are acquiring a profile every quarter millimeter supposedly my object it looks like to be about uh, let's say three to four inches so if I take four inches um, I will basically me take hundred millimeters which is four inches and divide that by quarter millimeter that tells me how many profiles I need to acquire in order to capture my entire image and that's the number I would put down in this step once that's done uh, I can again execute the step by using pressing F8 and now what I do next is uh, uh, I move my slider from l right to left or vice versa and at some point it triggers my sensor my sensor tells my camera the object is in front of the camera the laser comes on and then my object moves slowly slowly uh, acquiring one profile at a time until the entire 3d image is captured and then the laser goes off if I now execute my grab step and press F8 it basically takes that image and puts it in my image bank I can then double click on that image bank and two windows pop up one is a grayscale window and I can uh, move this yellow box around it and it basically represents the 3d visual window over here as well which I can rotate uh, using my uh, left mouse button and moving around the mouse and you can see that one posted note is higher on the other using my right mouse button I can change the color scale uh, to what is basically visual to me and again if I decide uh, to zoom onto one particular feature I can tightly close this and be able to see you know what's there so we can see that there is some noise that we can see on top of the uh, objects over here but now we should be able to go back into our grab setup parameters and be able to uh, adjust the parameters more uh, and refine our image to make it a better quality image uh, the other thing I want to show you is on this tab over here if I press the shift button as well as the and move the mouse around it you can kinda see that you get the Z reference points so that the one that's higher uh, is probably at about 69 millimeters and the one that is lower is at about 64 so the higher one is about 5 millimeters higher than the lower one hopefully this gives you enough uh, exposure as far as how you can go about acquiring images using the 2D and 3D cameras uh, to see how the programming environment works in the IVC please uh, look at the third video that we have made and feel free to give us uh, a call if you have any further questions at 1-800-325-7425 followed by option 2.
followed by option 4.